good evening everyone uh, i am vinith agarwal uh, i am the co-founder of giraffe and uh, welcome everyone to today's episode of giraffe connect today our topic of discussion will be government securities as an alternate investment class and i have mr vikas vansal with me vikas heads uh, investment for us at giraffe and prior to joining giraffe vikas uh, used to head bfig division for kotak bank for entire north india and comes with over 15 years of work ex across various financial institutions and banks so welcome vikas for our today's discussion uh, the way we have structured uh, today's discussion is that you know uh, for 5 uh, to 10 minutes i will be talking about what we do at giraffe what are the various products that we have at giraffe what is the team and who are the people behind the scene and what is the approval process that we follow will move uh, to vikas wherein he will explain what the government what are the various types of government securities which are available uh, how does it compare uh, to traditional investment options like fixed deposit etc what are the taxation behind these government securities and how investors can use our platform to invest in those securities in a very seamless and transparent manner so this is how we have structured it post that we will have an faq section where we welcome each one of you to ask us questions whatever you have with respect to today's topic of discussion or in general if you want to know anything about giraffe as a platform uh, uh, any questions that you have uh, request you to please write those questions we will pick up one by one and we will try and answer uh, those questions so uh, uh, vikas can you just put, uh, pull up the presentation yeah let's share let me know if you are able to see it yeah i can see it yeah thank you over to you so yeah as i said today's uh, topic of discussion is government securities as an alternate investment and i'll start with the team uh, who is basically you know behind the scenes who is working towards getting all these opportunities uh, for the investors of our platform uh, i'll start with that so as you can see uh, you i have saurav ghosh who is uh, my co-founder at giraffe Saurav again comes with he's a bit spilani am Ahmedabad grad and comes with over a decades experience uh, in strategy in fundraising and in corporate finance across various institutions and uh, he has raised a lot of over a billion dollar of capital uh, from marquee institutions in his uh, prior stint before starting giraffe brief background about myself uh before starting giraffe i have over a decades of experience in various financial institutions started with access bank corporate division and then in peramal fund which was a private equity slash nbfc setup uh in the senior management team we have mr vikas who is on the call uh, i have given a brief introduction about him he heads the entire investment piece for us we have mr ankit bhartia he is i am cozy code pass out uh, he heads the credit and risk process for us at giraffe prior to this he used to head credit and risk for icic bank hsbc and peramal we have mr jp uh, who heads our growth and is the face of the company from an investors perspective uh, he prior to uh, joining giraffe he was with home, he was india head for home credit which was, which is one of the largest nbfc in the space and was with hsbc in united states before that Uh, we have Pratik, who had strategy for us. Uh, he is again, I am Ahmedabad pass out. Who has worked in private equity in India, Hong Kong, etc. Before coming to Giraffe. So what I am trying to show from this side slide is that you know we are a team of professionals who have come from BFSI, private equity, financial services uh, domain. Uh, we have a combined work ex of over hundred years. We understand financial products uh, very well. It's in our DNA. I can say that. and we curate all these deals uh, before launching anything on the platform and it passes through each of the person whom you can see on the slide today so next uh, sorry it shows end of slide vikas just see can we go to slide 2 Uh, some issues, technical issues. Just bear me for a second. No problem. Should I put it up? Yeah, it's showing some error for me. Again. No, let, let me just try and see if I can. Just one second. Is my screen visible? Yeah, your screen is visible. 
Is it visible? Yeah, it's visible. Okay, fine. Yeah. Uh, so uh, this that was about the team. Now, who are the people behind Giraffe? So we have Excel uh, Partners. It's one of the largest venture capital fund in the world. Uh, they have backed some of the marquee companies globally as well as in India. They were the first investor in Facebook. They were the first investor in Flipkart. They are the people who have backed us in our journey where we want to democratize the entire fixed income space for all the Indians. Uh, apart from Excel, we have a couple of marquee founders of Indian startup ecosystem. Siddharth Sa was the founder of Farm Easy. Ramakant was the founder of Live Space. Uh, Dharmil, again, the founder of Farm Easy, Ronak, and Capital A, which is a VC fund. These are the people who have backed us uh, in our journey, and they are helping us uh, in setting up all the processes that we follow, in setting up uh, all the uh, yeah, you know, the investment criteria that we follow uh, in setting up how the team should be structured, what kind of deals we should bring out. So we have very, very good people who are backing us. And uh, this is the reason why we have been able to do what we have done in last, uh, you know, short period time of time of 18 months. So now that you have understood, like, who are the people in Giraffe, you have seen who are the uh, people behind Giraffe who are supporting them. Now, the question that we need to answer is that what is the reason for existence of Giraffe? So uh, the reason is very plain and simple. What, uh, say, two years back, if I have to look at uh, India as a domain, uh, you know, retail investors, they never had access to, you know, good quality fixed income products. The only uh, products that were generally available were, you know, AAA bonds or AA bonds, which used to offer yields, which was less than 10%. Structured credit products were not available uh, to you know retail investors or even some large investor who wanted to put small checks. Only if you want, if you have you know money beyond a crore or two crore or five crore per deal, then only those people were being catered to by the wealth management firms. Uh, you know by the uh, I would say the ultra H and I category of the people. So that this is where Giraffe comes in, wherein we br bring products uh, from as as from today's topic of discussion, which is a treasury bill at one end, which is at a 6% to a CP, to a corporate credit debt, to an asset leasing, which I will talk about, and to venture debt from 6% to 20%. And we are bringing these structured solutions for retail investors. Earlier, there was no robot mechanism for monitoring the investment throughout its life cycle. Now here we have a proper risk management team. We have a proper monitoring team. We monitor all the investments that are being done uh, via the platform on a monthly basis. We have a very strict uh, you know, credit check process, uh, credit monitoring process that we follow. Uh, we ensure that the entire documentation is digitized, entire payout and investment is digitized. Everything is in a transparent and in a clean and transparent manner. You can look, log into your dashboard at any point of time and you can see what are the investments that you have done, what are the documents that you have signed, what is the taxation related to those documents, what is the amount that you have received, what is the amount that is expected to be received. Everything is presented in a clean and transparent manner. That's the problem that with Giraffe is solving today. Uh, so somebody who is having a 1 lakh rupees to invest to somebody who is having maybe a 5 crore to invest. Uh, Giraffe has become that one single platform, uh, which is, uh, you know, uh, democratize this entire space uh, in a very seamless and transparent manner. So what do investors and partners achieve? They get exclusive access to curated opportunities. So whatever opportunity that you see on Giraffe is available only on Giraffe. So all the opportunities that you see is being manufactured by us. We generally don't sell uh, any products which are manufactured by third party uh, you know manufacturers because it passes through our own processes as i mentioned only transparency for making choice of investment is available post investment monitoring is available partners can invest and monitor the investment that the, their clients have made they can create a portfolio which is across the yield across the tenor in the fixed income space and it is one unified platform for all things fixed income. So suppose if you want to buy shares, you want to buy mutual fund, you will go to Zerodha, you will go to Sher Khan, you will go to Grow and all. But if you want to invest anything which is fixed income in nature, okay, so then Giraffe is that platform of choice for Indians. So as I was mentioning, uh, we have a broad range of products. Uh, I'll just spend two minutes in this slide. Uh, I'll, the first product that is the topic of discussion today, which is a treasury bill and government securities. These are basically debt which are issued by RBI or government of India. The general uh, tenor for these products are between 90 days to 365 days. 
GSECs are beyond five years, but today we will mainly focus on the shorter tenure product, which is treasury bill. And the product yield that you get in these products are between 6.5% to 7.5%. So once this is the most risk-free asset that any country can have, this is even safer than fixed deposit because fixed deposit at the end of the day, government of India is guaranteeing only 5 lakh rupees, be it any bank. But T-bill is an instrument issued by the government of India. So it's a whatever it's like, you know, it's a, you're taking a country risk basically, right? This is the safest product that you can have for any country. So that is one of the product at the lower end of the spectrum. After that, we have corporate debt, which is commercial papers. These are generally between three to 12 months. Here you will get corporates, which are A1 plus rated, which is the highest form of short term rating to A2 plus rating companies between seven to 10% is the general product yield that you will get in CPs. In our platform, we have also done CPs for A3 and A4 companies where you will get between 12 to 15% uh, kind of a return as well. But the beauty of this product is that it is again very short term in nature. It is an RBI issued instrument. Uh, hence, uh, you know, uh, the company are very serious as, as far as the usage of the instrument is concerned. That is again one product which is available on our platform. The third product is a corporate debt or the bonds. In these, the corporate can be uh, between 9 to 11%, you will have NBFC kind of companies, which would be triple B to, uh, you know, A plus rated companies. You will have other corporates, non NBFC companies, which would be either in manufacturing, which could be either in trading, which could be distribution, which could be pharma, which could be in real estate. So in this, generally, the tenor is between 12 to 36 months. Here, the yield can be anywhere between 10, 11% again to, uh, you know, maybe 15, 16% kind of yield typically you will have security in these uh, types of bonds because you have an underlying security then the next product that we do is invoice discounting it's a very short term nature of product it's basically supply chain finance or working capital management money that the company borrows here you as a security you get underlying trade documents whereas an investor you buy the receivables underlying which is underlying those invoices general tenor is 30 to 90 days Product yield again is anywhere between 11% to maybe a 14, 15%. The uh, fifth product that we do is leasing. Uh, leasing is basically done by companies where they are financing their capex requirement. Just to give you an example, uh, suppose a company needs a server and let's, they say the cost of server setting up the server is say five crore. What they do is that you know they will ask us to buy that server and we then lease it out to the company and we get a uh, re monthly rental against those uh, servers. So we have hard security, uh, hard asset as the security. The typical tenor again here works out to between you know 15 to 36 months. Here, depending on who the counterparty is, what the underlying asset is, the uh, yield again ranges between 13% to 17%. So that's the typical yield range for a leasing product. At the fag end of the our product in the fixed income space is the venture debt product. These are basically taken the working capital money or the growth capital money, which are generally taken by startups. Hence, the word venture uh, is there in the debt. At the end of the day, it's like a corporate debt. But since they are a startup, it's called as venture debt. Uh, what, what is the security? Here, we again have a charge on their current assets and fixed assets of the company. Typically, we it's not a very long-term debt. We generally give between 12 to 15 months. And generally, venture debt is given to companies who are who have raised a reasonable amount of uh, you know equity or are in the fag and process of raising that equity. So uh, generally, this debt is given along with the equity line so that you know they uh, make the working capital very efficient. Because these are the startups companies, hence the uh, you know the yield is higher. You can expect somewhere between 15, 16 percent plus kind of a yield in the venture debt space. So as I was mentioning, uh, Giraffe is the, I would say the largest horizontal platform for fixed income space in India today, where you as an investor can invest from a T-bill at six and a half percent to a venture debt at, you know, 18, 20% range. And you can create a very beautiful portfolio in the fixed income space across these product and asset classes. Uh, so I'll just spend two minutes as to what the credit approval process uh, that we follow here at Giraffe. So it all it starts from deal origination, which is on the left hand side. You can see here 
Vikas, who heads our in investment here, who is on the call, is basically the person responsible for originating all the deals that you see on our platform. So they will basically originate a deal. They will meet the client. They will prepare call reports, and then they will do the primary evaluation, which is the next step. In the primary evaluation stage, they will go through the uh, data that the company has provided. They will prepare a two-pager memo, which is shared internally with the risk team, with the sales head team, and with the founders and the IC members, wherein we will discuss whether you know we want to spend more time in this company, given the basic set of data that we have had. Because we have a lot of criteria wherein we reject the companies at this level itself. Now, once we got, once the team gets an in-principle in approval, so the Vikas's team they get an in-principle approval. Then what they do is that you know they will have a detailed evaluation, which is the fourth step, the detailed evaluation and due diligence of the company. So they will go in depth into the balance sheet, into the cash flows, into the MIS, into uh, you know stocks, receivable, payables, etc. They will structure the transaction. They will negotiate a term sheet with the company. They will uh, do the entire diligence if it is required basis, what type of transaction it is. In this stage, we also appoint a lot of third party agencies. Like we will appoint a you know top tier law firm to do the documentation for us to start doing the diligence. We will appoint a third party if there is a valuation requirement. So we will appoint a third party valuer to do the valuation for us. Uh, we will appoint a, a you know a say sales DD agency, suppose if it's a real estate project, so then we will appoint an agency who will do the sales technical DD for us. So a detailed DD is done in this stage. Once the due diligence is complete, the terms are closed, negotiated, a IC notice prepared by this team, then the notice sent for internal credit review, which is the fifth step. In this, between the detailed evaluation and internal credit review, uh, so the credit review is being done by the internal risk team, wherein they will discuss in detail with the investment team as to, you know, what are the risks of this particular deal and what are the mitigating factors that we can build in in our structure. So that is being discussed. And once it passes by the internal credit review or the risk team, it goes for the committee approval. In the final committee approval, uh, it's a six member committee that we have. And, and and the entire proposal is being discussed in detail, uh, including various scenarios uh, as to you know how the deal can perform and what are the risk uh, parameters for that particular deal. If the committee approves the deal, then the team goes for execution stage where they finalize the documents, sign the documents, a transfer of securities happens. Uh, giraffe uh, generally, uh, you know, all the deals that we do on our platform, which are debentures, first we buy those debentures from using our own money. And then only we downsell it on our platform because that's the conviction we have. We are not just a matchmaker where we will list the deals and with the hope of finding people, irrespective of whether we get an investor or not, we put that money upfront and we, uh, you know, participate in all the deals 100%. Uh, that is where the execution is done and post execution investment is done. So once the investment is done, people, they come to our platform and then they participate in those transactions. Every month we follow a very strict monitoring process. We, uh, we, what we see is that whatever the business plan that the company had done, how are they progressing on this business plan? You know, if there is any deviation, positive, negative, we, you know, try and uh, monitor everything uh, that we have underwritten. So this is the credit approval process that we follow. Uh, in Giraffe. Uh, in this entire process, we do have a lot of sector experts as well with us. Uh, so now suppose if a deal comes from a manufacturing space or is in say an NBFC transaction. So we have uh, very uh, senior folks who are you know veterans in those sectors. So we take a lot of opinions from them as well as a part of our committee approval process. What has been the journey so far for Giraffe? Uh, we practically started the company in December 21. September 21 is when we launched, but December is practically, uh, you could say, where we you know, started gaining some traction. It took us three months. Uh, at that point of time, we had 1,200 people who had registered. We had done only 60 crore of transactions. Uh, we, have, we were a small team of 19 people. In last one year itself, 
uh, we have grown tremendously and people have shown a lot of faith in us. We are today with, we have 51,000 registered users on our platform. We have done 870 crore of transaction. In fact, Jan and we have crossed 1,000 crores of transactions. We are a team of 70 plus people. Out of this 1,000 uh, odd crore that we have done till now, we have returned 400 crores uh, back to the uh, investors. We have not seen a single day of delay or default till now in all the transactions we have done. So now I'll pass on this discussion to uh, Vikas. Vikas, you can you know take over the slides. Hello. Thanks, Hello. Uh, yeah. Uh, for the uh, brief intro on Jina, of course. So, so what are government securities? So government securities are nothing. It's a borrowing by the government of India. So, and government of India uh, needs to borrow money for its day-to-day -day operation for treasury management and for the development of the country. So government of India borrows from uh, the market or the institutions or from the retail, uh, retail public. And uh, they issue securities, uh, uh, securities to us. So this is what is called GSEC. So their uh, government borrows in two buckets, uh, less than one year and more than one year. So any product which is less than one year issued by the government of India is called treasury bill. So currently government of India is issuing treasury bills under three maturities, 91 days, 182 days, and 364 days. And on every Wednesday, government of India opens the bid. And I think yesterday was the Wednesday. And every Wednesday, government of India, rather RBI, because RBI is the banker of government of India. So RBI does the all the borrowing on behalf of the government and manages all the uh, issues. So RBI has a calendar which is published uh, uh, once a quarter. And every Wednesday, they will ask for the bids. Treasury bills are issued on the fixed rate and repayment is at maturity. So they are issued at discount. Government securities are issued for five years to 40 years and the interest rate could be fixed as well as floating. However, in the case of government securities, the coupon or, or you can say interest is paid on half yearly basis and principal is paid at the end of the maturity. The government of India comes with an issue of five years. So every six months, I think uh, January 8 and uh, July 8, government of India will pay the interest. And at the end of five years, the investor shall get the principal amount back. And these are issued at uh, face value. So I'll just, uh, Vinit, could you come to next slide? Yeah. So why should one invest in government securities? First of all, it's the safest product which is available in India. It is secured, it is, it's a boring, you're giving money to government of India. And government of India uh, has almost zero default rate. And if need be, it can, uh, it can print the money and pay it back to the investors. So it is government guaranteed. It is safer than any FD you put in the bank. So this is why it's a sovereign guarantee. Another thing, important thing is you can invest in a dematerialized form. So the securities will come into your demat account. So you hold the uh, security just like any share. Liquidity, so you have a range of liquidity options. One can invest as per its uh, tenor. One can invest for 91 days, 180 days, 364 days, five years, ranging up to 40 years, depending on the investor's uh, deployment of the funds. And one can sell it in the secondary market also because these bills are listed, deemed listed uh, on the exchange. And uh, we'll see these are attractive yields. We'll show you the comparison in the next slide. And say, and another important thing is, like in a bank FD, if you invest, the interest is paid after deducting the TDS. However, in the case of bonds and the T-bills, the TDS is not deducted, and it is entirely passed on, and investor has to pay it as per their income tax class. Uh, we need you can change the slide. So this is a comparison chart uh, to give you 
the snapshot how what are the uh, interest rate offered by leading banks if you see within 90 days uh, the banks are offering somewhere between 2.55 to 4.5 percent however the auction which happened yesterday of the treasury bill the cutoff was 6.67 percent so you can see almost 2.27 2.17 percent higher interest rate one would get if you invest in treasury bill if you do the comparison for 180 days again you can see it's almost one and a half to two percent 364 days again so one can see the government of india which is uh, uh, like which is uh, which is ensuring the deposit of the bank is borrowing at a higher rate and the banks in which we put the fd is giving the lower rate so the yields are attractive if one wants to invest in the t bills rather than the bank fd so it can be considered a very good alternative to fds uh, we need to, you can send the slide. Yeah. So, uh, Vikas, I have just one question here. Why is the like the government borrowing uh, at a rate more than the private bank? Yeah. So, if you see the bank, the government, it's because of retailization of the G second tables. Currently, the problem is that, that government borrows almost seven, almost twenty thousand crores every week uh, uh, through treasury bills. So government have uh, take the bid and all the big institutions like uh, insurance uh, banks they bid for it. Currently, the participation of retail is very limited. This is why the uh, the market is pricing them accordingly. Uh, the banks uh, uh, the banks have branches everywhere. There's the ease of investing. One can just open in the net banking. Uh, so there is no digital channel. It's not so accessible to the investors. So treasury bills are not that easily available for to invest. That is why uh, there is an arbitrage, if I may say, between the bank FDs and treasury bills. So treasury bills are much, much safer than the bank FDs. Just because of these, uh, so, so government is also pushing that they want, they have their own portal. They are trying to uh, increase the participation of the retail individuals. And uh, maybe within next two, three years, you will see the chart reversing, you will see treasury bills will be lower priced than the, the bank's MD. Uh, Vinit, you can change the slide. Uh, Vinit. I think so. I think we need the uh, connection seems to have uh, disconnected. We need seems to have disconnected. So I'll tell you what is the taxation uh, while you invest in the G set. Uh, I think I'll try to share my screen. So what is the taxation on government security and T-bill? So the income the investor is getting is in the form of interest. So the tax would be calculated as per the applicable income tax gap of the investors. So if somebody is falling in the zero tax bracket, he doesn't have to pay uh, tax on the interest. If somebody is falling into 10% or 20%, 30%, he will have to pay the interest uh, tax on the interest income accordingly. So how can one invest in uh, GSEX or T-Bill? So one can log in to Giraffe and uh, you will see a placard T-Bill and you can enter the number of units. You agree to the terms and conditions that you're buying it from Giraffe. You, you have to initiate the payment and then you will get the confirmation. Once we receive the money, within four to five days, we will transfer the uh, T-Bills or GSEX to your DMAT account and you shall get an email confirming that the G second T bill have been transferred and you can go to your uh, DMAT statement and uh, check uh, whether the uh, securities have been credited or not. So this is in nutshell about uh, G set. Thanks to all. So I uh, so we are opening uh, it for Q and A session. So I have answered few of the questions already uh, online. So you can go ahead. Uh, so I think uh, 
uh, Vineet and uh, I can answer the questions. Uh, uh, Pratik, uh, you have one uh, uh, question. Uh, your question is appreciate if taxation on these products can also be explained. So I think I have uh, I have just addressed it in my last slide. I'll just repeat once again the interest which you are getting uh, will be taxed as per the income tax lab of the investor. Davis. Yeah. Next question by Mr. Uh, Ram Krishna uh, is that if we launch uh, a product which is more than one year tenor, we will uh, there is requested us to have a webinar before the launch. Sure, we'll make a note of this, uh, sir, and you know we'll try to have a webinar before the launch of the product for products which are more than one tenor, one year tenor in GSEC, which is basically GSEC. And uh, so uh, I think there's an appreciation by Anand and we welcome it. So he's saying that he has invested in more than 20 online platform. And I must say, Giraffe is awesome. Thanks, uh, Anand. And we look Thank you very much, Anand. To, yeah, it's really helpful to hear this. Okay. Uh, yeah, Anand, so you're correct. Ideally, any government yeah. is borrowing more than one year is called GSEC. So you have mentioned GSEC has more than five years. So because that's because of the issuance which government does. You're correct. Yeah. Uh, Kumar saying I didn't see any venture capital investment proposal past two months, three months. I can take this. So, yeah. Uh, so, uh, sir, here basically, uh, you know, um, because the venture debt deals are, uh, you know, very high risk category and high return category, right? So we are very, very, very cognizant when we bring those sort of transactions onto our platform. We are very selective in those criteria. We though we get. I would say almost on a weekly basis, we get an opportunity where we can, you know, uh, maybe invest in those sort of transactions, but uh, we don't even take it up to our committee for approval. Uh, the two transactions that we have done till now, uh, we are proud to say that in both the transactions, both the companies have raised, uh, you know, next round of funding, even in this country. Well, so we are trying to get such companies now, given where the funding scenarios is also, we are a little more cognizant uh, uh, towards those transactions, but you will soon see a couple of transactions. I would say next one, one and a half months, which will come in, uh, you know, those categories. Yeah, so I think we have answered this. Uh, Prashant Singh, can you share the presentation of the webinar is over? Yes, Prashant, we will do that. It shall be available on YouTube as well. Uh, so Shiv Kumar is asking, uh, 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 request us to update TDS detail month on month. So Shiv Kumar, we are working on the same and the report yes. shall be available very soon. So we are mindful of that, that uh, uh, the, uh, this year is getting over and the assessment year will start from 1st of April and uh, everyone has to pay the taxes. and. Uh, uh, if uh, you can just go to 26 and AS, you would see that some of the uh, some of the borrowers have already paid the TDS. Uh, so we are reconciling it and put the report on your dashboard as well. Yeah. So Surya, is TDS applicable in government bots? Yes, TDS is applicable. So government is giving you the interest from one end and taking away uh, the TDS from. It's not TDS there. So TDS they will not deduct. Uh, rather, you will have to pay tax later on your income, whatever you do it from government bonds. So Pradeep ji is asking uh, how much the investment employees are putting of giraffe and mentioning that the, that the employees are just putting in the money is not accepted. So Pradeep ji, so you should uh, uh, evaluate each opportunity uh, uh, with a lens that uh, no one from giraffe is uh, investing and uh, your decision should not be predicated how much money in our personal capacity we have put it because every individual's risk appetite is different. So we would uh, urge you to do an independent risk assessment of your own. And we encourage Pradeep ji is that if you have any question, please reach out to us. We'll try and answer them. And if you're confident of our answers and responses and the data that we have provided, then only you go ahead with the investment. Uh, Amita is asking, you mentioned a bank FD is also not safe. Tables are safer. Can you please detail the risk of FD? So Amita, uh, as I understand, Bank FD is up to 5 lakhs is insured or any savings account uh, or whatever deposit you have a bank. Uh, you can cross check my understanding. Maybe that number might have got uh, revised. But uh, so that is also insured by the government. So bank is not uh, 
giving the guarantee it is guarantee given by the government of india and if government of india is itself issuing a t bill so this is why i mentioned t bills are secret yeah uh, there is a question by mr sandeep where he is asking ki how to avail a referral scheme on the site uh, so we have a referral tab on the website and you can go there you have a referral code you can copy those referral code and then you know you can share those uh, via whatsapp groups via telegram groups by email messages etc and once people click and you know uh, use that as a automatically our system takes that uh, as your referrer and you will automatically get uh, the referral bonuses etc once they transact through our platform uh, samir is asking what is the investment that giraffe makes in each of the assets would appreciate if giraffe can also upload various details regarding the company such as the npa gross profit net profit etc so uh, i'll take this question in the so samir giraffe uh, as vinith has also mentioned during his presentation uh, for all the long term deals uh, we underwrite uh, all the investment is done upfront by the giraffe from its own money and then we put it on our platform so we have already under underwritten uh, and uh, we normally put the details of the company like npas gross profit gross profit and net profit you will have to refer the slides and maybe a snapshot if for any particular opportunity if we have missed it we would be happy to get uh, you can connect with us and we will be happy to answer the question uh again shagun is can i get a copy in pdf format of this slide uh, shagun you can write it to us at support@jerob.com and uh, we'll get back to you what is the tax rate on treasury bills uh, sandeep i think i have already answered that uh madhu nayar so uh, i don't know whether it's a negative or a positive vinit so madhu is asking yeah. uh, so i have been using I'll the just, giraffe i'll just uh, yeah. maybe uh, read the question for the yeah. uh, i've been using the giraffe platform for a year and experience has been excellent one issue i would like to highlight is the time lag between the launch of a product and receipt of intimation via whatsapp there have been instances where i have missed the opportunity due to this delay please rectify so one uh, uh, answer madhu ji is here that you know any opportunity when we list on our platform immediately an email uh, is triggered which goes to everyone uh, i understand that you know by the time lot of times you know by the time whatsapp reaches for each deal lot of the times the deal gets fully subscribed in the platform because there are there are some technical challenges uh, as to why you know Uh, we cannot send whatsapp i would say prior or you know um, at the time of launch itself and that's the only reason we are trying to you know make it more efficient from our end so that you get those communications uh, uh, in parallel however uh, we urge all our investors to you know use uh, email as the first port of reference where you will get these things we are also in the process of launching our own app uh, in couple of months once you have that you will have get instant notification uh, you know prior to deal launches so it's a matter of time and uh, request you to just bear with us for uh, uh, you know next couple of months and we'll try our best to send you those whatsapps on time as well so another very uh, i think valid feedback from suchita i think we have been bombarding the whatsapp with all sort of opportunities so she's saying if i'm interested in say particular kind of like bonds or t bills can you send the specific to me and not uh, every like for every opportunity that's her feedback to us sure so suchita it's a very nice feedback and we will work on this but uh, till this functionality comes we uh, we will uh, apologize us to for bearing with us we will definitely work on this we will take this as a feedback sure ah uh, sunita is asking is dmat mandatory yes sunita uh, so dmat is mandatory if you are investing in treasury bills or gsec because that's where we will be transferring your uh, securities ah uh, uh, japraja is asking why does government not publicize investing in treasury bills broadly to individual investors so uh, uh jabar uh, da so government is taking the steps uh, they they even have a, a platform but it's not very user friendly and uh, and since you know that government borrows say 20 30000 crores and they they want it in a one day so uh, they have to control the cost of issuances and rbi has many other things to do that is why uh, government has appointed banks to 
take care of the issuances and then they can downsell. So, but it's uh, simply because government uh, borrows in bulk, so they don't don't want to go to the retail, and that have been their problem. And see, this is precisely what platform like ours is. We are trying to ease it for an investor. So as Vikas was mentioning, though you can go to RBI website, create a separate account, but it is not user friendly. Uh, you know, it's a very different. It, it doesn't come to your demand. But there are various nuances to it. Uh, we are trying to simplify that process. Uh, government wants to do it, but obviously they don't have the marketing capability or they don't think from a retail lens. That's the only difference if I have to put it. Yeah. So Anand is asking, do you bid for the tables and buy it first and then downsell it to us? Yes, Anand. We yeah. bid yesterday on Wednesday, but uh, that's uh, when the bidding happens for everyone. So uh, today, uh, I've not checked whether we have been allotted or not the table. So I think today evening, we'll get in our DMAT account. So we, uh, so government normally does not issue in a DMAT account. They issue in a something called SGL or CSGL account. So I'll not get into nuances. So we get it converted to DMAT account and then we sell it to the through our platform. And uh, and I think someone asked later on uh, whether it, this uh, T bills are available as of now. No, they are not available precisely because of this reason. We have bid for it, and we so it should get. Uh, we should uh, if we get it the allocation tonight, uh, we will put it on on our, on our platform tomorrow. So by tomorrow, basically you should have it. We generally have T bills. We try to have a T bill, uh, you know, at a very frequent uh, intervals. But as uh, uh, Vikas mentioned, there are a few dates where it goes live and hence, you know, uh, having it consistent flow of T-bill is difficult, but tomorrow you should get T-bill on our platform. So I think uh, three or four people have asked, can NRIs invest in uh, t -bills? I think they can do, but I'll have to cross check and uh, maybe uh, uh, since I don't have a ready answer to this, uh, maybe I'll request everyone. So you can Google RBI FAQ section, you can go on RBI website, Government Securities Market in India. So there you will get this answer. Uh, so pardon my ignorance on this subject. And Ashi is asking uh, Vineet uh, to us, uh, since uh, you are doing the, all the heavy lifting, you are uh, bidding on a part uh, and uh, you are, we are getting it converted to DMAT. Yeah, uh, NRS so, can uh, invest in table, sorry. Yeah, Yeah. okay, so <laughs> good. So you already did the. <laughs> Yeah. You've already checked on the website. Yeah. Great. So NRIs can invest here. It's a deemed listed. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, so, and, uh, so and just to add, so at times what we have seen is a huge demand for uh, T bills, and uh, it gets sold out within a few minutes. So that is why you might not see T bills at every point of time. But we are working on the same, and uh, we will improvise upon the same. Uh, do you charge commission, uh, Ashish? Jen? Yes, uh, Ashish. Uh, so nothing is free, and uh, we are also in the business. So we do take a very small fee, uh, which is not even... So right now, we don't charge any commission assist to the investors of our platform. Correct. Okay. Uh, whatever we charge is basically to the issuer. And uh, that's the model that we are working right now. Shavinagi, is there an app? We are working on the same. Uh, different between mutual fund and... Uh, we uh, should have an app. Yeah. Mayuri is asking the same question. Uh, we need you to answer that. Uh, difference between a debt mutual fund and... Uh, Okay, I think we need the screen. So, see, debt mutual fund. Uh, am, I, am I audible? Yes. Yeah, so. Or you can take it up. Is really bad. Yeah, you so. You can take up the question then. Yeah. So, Mayur, uh, it's a very simple. Debt mutual fund is a basket uh, of uh, different debt securities. And uh, uh, what the Giraffe is doing, they are deconstructing this uh, basket and offering you each of the opportunities as for your credit appetite. So it's like you invest in single security and you can choose on your own what to invest it or you can go through the mutual fund route. So that's the same difference. Uh, are these uh, credible in NFC? Morley is asking. I, I'm, I'm going to uh, rush through it now because oh. we have 60 questions. Yes, sure. We need your connection is really erratic. Hello. So Murli is asking, are these GSEC credible in NSC? Yes, Murli, these are credible in NSC. How secure is the investment in the alternate investments? So Mukul, you have to go through the each uh, counterparty. So as we mentioned, it's uh, riskier than FD and uh, lesser than the equity. 
but each product and each counterparty has uh, uh, different. Uh, so you will have to read the, through the opportunity and decide which is which makes more sense for you. Okay. So I think somebody asking question about voices. I think we are not addressing in this session. We'll come back to you. Uh, I think uh, Mr. Ramakrishna is saying it was for some other products. Uh, so we'll uh, so you can write uh, Mr. Ramakrishna to us on our support desk. We'll get back to you because current session is on GSET. So Mohan, we take the feedback, consolidate interest payment, TDS statement. We are working on the same and get uh, it, it shall be available very soon. Yeah, it will be provided. Uh, uh, we need you can answer the next one. I'll just scroll through the other questions. On Jira platform, there's pre-tax rate and there's coupon rate. Is TDS deducted on this? So which rate should we consider as the net in hand? Uh, so Chiradeep, uh, you know, we mentioned in each and every opportunity in the FEQ section, what is the tax applicable, uh, whether you will get uh, tax in the hand uh, or not. So uh, I, I urge you to refer to the FEQ section for each opportunity because the treatment is different. So some question on invoice discounting. So I will ignore that question. So Shubham is asking if you can compare the taxation on FDs or T-bills, which one is better in terms of saving tax? Neither. So both have the same tax treatment. The only difference being in FDs, if you go above 10,000 or some specific amount, uh, then the interest, uh, the bank will deduct the TDS and pay it to you. In the case of T-bills or GSEC, you will get the entire interest and then you have to pay the taxes later. But the treatment of tax will not change. Yeah. What is the minimum investment in T-bill? Uh, as of now, minimum investment uh, in T-bill in our platform is 1 lakh rupees. However, T-bills are available at, I think, minimum of 1,000 or something. 100. Uh, 100. 100 rupees, <laughs> 100 rupees yeah. Does giraffe infuse funds up in invoice discounting and invoice on spot? So it's an, again a question on invoice discounting. I think we will have to take a session on invoice discounting. We need yeah. a lot of questions on that. <laughs> what we will do is that we will note down these questions of invoice. And if you guys can send us uh, these queries uh, at supported giraffe, and we will send you a you know one on one answer uh, for those questions as well. Uh, we right facilitated have... investment by credit card. Uh, I don't think that's uh, permissible uh, uh, right now. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know yeah, I, think, I don't. Think I don't know is. actually. Yeah. In, but uh, my our advice would be uh, yeah. don't leverage. Don't, yeah, don't leverage. Yeah, it's very, it's a very risky strategy, investment strategy. So yeah. Dinesh ji is saying so. Conduct the webinar in Hindi, so I understand. So we'll take this feedback and uh, yeah. uh, we need. We'll have. We'll have Hindi. Yes. Mein karin, we'll Done. No problem. Nahi. Uh, uh, so again, uh, some uh, specific. Ramesh is asking very deal specific, not pertaining to the current topic at hand. So Ramesh ji will ask you to write us separately since it is not a question relevant to the topic. So please yeah. pardon us for not answering it out here. Does this interest you? No. So, my, no. so uh, I just answered it before reading the question. Yeah. Uh, Murali is asking, uh, does these securities include state government securities also? No, we are not covering the state government securities in this. So that is FDL. So that maybe we, when we offer it, currently we are not offering it on our platform. When we offer it, we'll cover this also. But current topic is only on government of India, which is central government that we are covering. So next question, slide, uh, when can we expect apps on iOS and Android? As I mentioned, we are working on it. Uh, hopefully next couple of months, uh, you will start have, having apps for both iOS and Android. Uh, why is Giraffe not having commercial real estate? Uh, as yes, a below the belt, uh, wet below the belt. I think we are the only platform which has the real estate. Uh, it's just that it gets sold out so quickly. So yeah. uh, no, he's saying it, commercial real estate. I think Vikas, which is fractional commercial real estate. estate. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, my so, bad. So Zahid, basically, uh, we are exploring that as a product. However, uh, we really don't believe as of now that the product can be democratized, uh, where you know people can invest with one lakh 
because there are a lot of risk associated with the product uh, we are trying to uh, you know manufacture a product which meets our criteria from those lenses and once we have that we will definitely launch it uh, as you can see my own experience or of experience uh, we you know i was part of a real estate uh, private equity fund managing over a billion dollar there so we understand this space really well however we have not yet formulated as to what the structure of the product should be on our platform once we have that we will definitely do it so i think uh, uh, jay kant is saying current again there is a commercial paper opportunities it can be made more lucrative so uh, jay kant uh, we are constrained by the uh, regulations so minimum investment by rbi mandate is that 5 lakhs only in commercial paper yeah so unless government uh, rbi changes the rule we can't help it yeah uh, in words in invoice in discounting portion we will skip this uh what about liquidity in t will do you help uh, premature withdrawal so we don't have a facility for uh, premature withdrawal of a t bill but what you can do is that uh, whatever banking relation you have and if you have t bill or gsec in your portfolio you can you know take uh, in one or two days you will get a you know uh, basically loan against the, those securities uh, very easily from the banking channel itself in case you want so, liquidity yeah so even alan is asking the same question how we sell it in the secondary market so uh, alan once you have the tables in your demat account you can put uh, an order through your broker which would be idfc securities zero the uh, you can put the price you want to sell it if there is a counter offer by order it will get sold so that's the process to sell it in the secondary market on an online trade i'll take the next one yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah is there any t bill on the platform right now no tomorrow yes tomorrow you will have one uh, how to the process of investment is the same as vikas mentioned you just log in uh, you will see a, a you know page of t bill click on that and then you know it's very self explanatory and yes you will need to key in your demat details at the time of buying Uh, my question is: Which section the earning needs to be shown while filing ITR? It's the interest income that you have to show for uh, T bills and G set. So, uh, are we developing a product? I think we have already answered the ticket size of treasury yeah. bill. On there is one more question again on referral. That uh, uh, do you have referral? So as I mentioned, you have a referral on the dashboard, which you can easily share, and the entire process is very automatic, and you start getting the referral bonus. Uh, you know when people use your links. We are not answering any question for invoice discounting. So I'll just skip all of those. Yeah, we already told how to sell the T bills. Ram Babu is asking, do you launch the opportunity on your platform at a specific time? Uh, no, there is no specific time as such uh, that we have. Uh, as and when the deals get uh, you know uh, concluded and we have everything in place, we launch it on our platform. Surya is asking, will a zero the demat account here work here also, or a new one has to be created? Surya, so any demat account which you have, where it's a zero the any demat account, yeah, existing demat account will work. You don't have to open a new account. Somya is asking, is it uh, possible to give the simple or compound interest rate instead of IRR for a product? Is it better understood by most people? Uh, Somya, we take this feedback, but. Uh, I'll urge you to read through the XIRR conundrum. There's a blog on our website. You will understand why do we offer IRR because that's the standard which is followed across the industry. 
because when there are multiple streams of repayment, uh, the IRR is a better measure to indicate a financial instrument man's return. Uh, Alan has a question, can corporate invest via Jira? Uh, the answer is yes, you can register your private limited company, HUF, partnership firm, LLP, et cetera, and uh, invest uh, in products uh, across Giraffe, uh, across all products in Giraffe. Obviously, you need to have a DMAT account if you are investing in uh, T-bill or any debenture instruments. Sanjay is saying T-bills cannot, can, so uh, cannot be transferred to NSDL DMAT account. No, it can be. So once you invest, Sanjay, uh, we will make sure that it gets uh, transferred to your NSDL DMAT account. Uh, again, the same question, when the recording will be available, it shall be available on the YouTube. So Sanjay is asking if government securities held for a year, then it is short term and long term gain. So Sanjay, uh, since uh, we covered only two variants of government securities, uh, and in both of them, interest was being paid within a year. So that's why we covered only short term capital gain. So. Uh, uh, long-term capital gain can only arise in a, a special case of GSEC, which are called zero coupon government securities, which are by technical name go by spreads. In that case, they will be treated like any other debt class. 20% uh, if you hold it more than three years, uh, uh, if you hold it for more than three years, 10% uh, with indexation, 20%, 20% 10% with indexation and 20% without or maybe I, yeah, I think I reverse this 20% with indexation, 10% without. Yeah. Uh, Zahid so is asking uh, how to learn more about alternate investments. I, we have a lot of blogs in our website. Uh, you can read all those blogs. Uh, we hope that it will give you a lot of more information about alternate investment in general. In addition to that, in our LinkedIn page also, uh, we do put up, uh, you know, for each asset class, we have a couple of slides explaining what that particular product is. I uh, would request if you can go through those uh, slides and presentations for each of the product, uh, you will get more knowledge. And obviously, over and above, you can Google. Re if you want, you can reach out to us if you have more queries uh, to learn more about alternate investment in general. Yeah, and Manish, I think this is the last question we'll take. We have already exceeded your time. And uh, uh, so Manish is saying, at the time of maturity, I believe amount will be credited automatically in DMAT account. Manish, the amount shall be credited to the bank account linked with the DMAT account. So money does not come in DMAT account. DMAT account is holding the shares only. Whatever bank account is uh, linked to your DMAT account, RBI will transfer the money directly to your DMAT account. So I think, um, I think. Uh, we are sure we have already exceeded the oh. time limit. Uh, so yeah. there are some open queries and uh, I would request the uh, participants to mail us uh, on the support at giraffe.com. And I thank you all of you for uh, joining us on this wonderful evening. And uh, I thank you again for joining us uh, for this uh, discussion today. Uh, and it was lovely to see such an active participation uh, from uh, all the participants. Uh, thank you, Vikas, for you know uh, explaining about government securities, uh, taxation benefits, etc. to uh, all the investors. Uh, we hope that this session will help you better plan and invest in these securities and uh, spread the word about Treasury Bill as an investment product, government security as an investment product amongst uh, your family, friends uh, and folks. Thank you. Uh, have a nice evening.